and students uh, to come and hear just what is going on in communities all across not only our city but across the country. Um, fentanyl is here, it's in our communities, and it's killing at a rapid rate. Uh, this is an educational seminar. We're going to hear from addicts who have recovered. We're going to hear from family members who lost a child uh, to uh, an overdose of fentanyl poisoning. And I'm just so excited to have uh, my good friend John Legilia here, uh, who not only started this important foundation, Patrick William Roach Foundation, but also sees it day in and day out each shift uh, as a member of the Chicago Fire Department. And John, we just shared <laughs> some of those stats around fentanyl and just the devastating effects of this epidemic. As a matter of fact, fentanyl was involved in near 80% of Gen Z drug deaths. That is a staggering stat. Why is this drug so dangerous, and how has it become so prevalent with all the information we have about how dangerous it is? Brian, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. They say in 2021, 93,000 people died of fentanyl. Yes, uh, any type of neighborhood, demographic, uh, where you live, uh, where you, how you, you know, where you grew up, it, it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, um, as the Alderman said, it, it is here, it is here to stay. And uh, the only way to combat this is to educate as many people as we can about the dangers of it. Um, you know, unfortunately, we respond to numerous, numerous overdose calls on a daily basis. Uh, we, we see that it is uh, picking up more and more. Uh, all these drugs have, have more and more lethal doses in them. And, uh, you know, until we, we unfortunately stop the cartels and stop the, uh, the influx of drugs, uh, it's going to continue to happen. So, so at this point, we just have to educate people and, uh, you know, to know Patrick William Roach, who the foundation was uh, founded on, uh, is to love him. Uh, that he was an incredible person, uh, unbelievable athlete, extremely smart. You know, father was also a Chicago Fire Department uh, member, his mom, CPS teacher, and uh, came from a great family of six. And, you know, it just goes to show you, it, it doesn't matter. It could happen to anybody. Um, so, so, you know, in his name, his legacy is going to live on. And uh, hopefully we can save one life. We can help out one, one person and uh, prevent a family and, of, of having to go through such a tragedy. This is a question to both of you. Obviously, you don't want kids to get hooked on this stuff. But what about the other side, how it's getting out there? What, what, what's being done to stop the, the dope dealers from getting it to the young people in our communities, which you have both said it's across the board. It's not just in low-income areas. It's it's everywhere. Yeah, Ryan, some of the stats, 60% um, of, of the fentanyl poisoning deaths um, are African-American victims. About 25% are white victims. About 10% uh, uh, Latino. As John said, it doesn't discriminate. Um, uh, the DEA is, is doing a remarkable job. Last year alone in 2022, they confiscated more than 50 million pills across our country. Uh, just two weeks ago, um, they intercepted a plane that had just arrived at O'Hare with 44 pounds of fentanyl. Ryan, that number oh, yeah. kill every Chicagoan and more. Um, so they're doing a lot uh, to try to intercept and to cut this drug flow off. But the fact of the matter is drug dealers have our kids, our teens on their cell phones. They're on social media, they know how to use this. Um, they're finding kids at school, at the park, um, at the local hangout. Um, this is such an incredible crisis that we're in. And as we saw last year alone, 3,000 deaths just here in Chicago, it's gonna continue. Yeah. But Alderman and John, thanks for all you're doing to sound the alarm and to get the word out. And thanks so much for being with us this morning. Again, tonight's informational seminar is happening at the Beverly Arts Center at 2407 West 111th Street from 7 to 9. I said they had the courage to go on TV. Laura, and you talk about a, a really healthy pick-me-up. You look at that sunshine, that, that vitamin D. Hey, beautiful. Beautiful, huh, sunshine?